is more so. This is place to move in, and this is the end of the month again. You know what that means? Time for another requested movie review. And today I will be reviewing Jojo Rabbit, which was requested by Leroy. Now, for those who don't know, he is the guy who is reading the text in my video thoughts episode on Clay Claymore, which I am working on. I hope that video will be out soon, but be patient. Those kinds of videos take time. Let's all hope that it will be ready in September. But I'm not making any promises. So anyway, without further ado, let's begin. This movie is basically about a boy in Nazi Germany who has Hitler as an imaginary friend. Now, I'm gonna start by talking about Jojo Rabbit, played by Roman Griffin Davis. You know, I feel fucking sorry for this kid. I really do. He has no friends and everyone treats him like shit. That really sucks. See someone getting bullied is not fun in the slightest. I just want to see that kid get fucking along with someone. But it almost never happens, which sucks. The next character that I want to talk about is Adolf Hitler, played by Taika Waititi. Now this isn't actually Adolf Hitler in the movie. Instead, it's an imaginary friend that Jojo has. No one can see him but him. I will admit though, the fact that the fucking kid has Hitler as an imaginary friend it's fucking disturbing, it really is. I know this movie takes place in the 1940s, but that doesn't change anything. It's still very fucking disturbing. You know, because of how bad Hitler was. Now, Jojo's mother is Rosie, played by Scarlett Johansson. Now, she's a good mother who cares about her kid a lot. Alright, now that I'm done talking about the characters, I am going to talk about other aspects of the movie. Which I enjoy. One thing that I really enjoy about this movie is that it's very fucking funny. Now most of the movie's comedy revolves around the conversation between Jojo and Hitler. Not the actual Hitler, but the imaginary friend Hitler. Now I wonder how the real Adolf Hitler would have reacted to that. There's no way of knowing since he doesn't make an appearance in the movie at all. Anyway, back on topic. I really was laughing my ears off at most of the things that the imaginary Hitler said. It all made me laugh so fucking much. It was fucking epic. Yeah, the funny conversation between those two is the best part about this movie. And the movie is worth watching for sure for that. Now this is a World War II movie about Nazi Germany, which has been overdone to death. And unfortunately this movie does suffer from the problem of being generic. Now look, I understand that it's a, an important aspect of history. How the Jews were treated back then was fucking horrible. I don't think anyone rational would try to dispute that. But just because it's an important aspect of history, does it mean that you can't make a movie about it generic as fuck? Which you easily can. Now this movie has to that I have seen trillions of times. People saying hail Hitler throughout the dialogue. People trying to hide a Jew from the Nazis. Terrible shit happening to innocent people. Those three things are in the movie. And I honestly found those aspects of the movie boring since it already has been done so many fucking times. Now to give credit, this was unavoidable. As you can't make a movie about Nazi Germany without showing those things. I mean you can, but it's still pretty important to show those things. Does it dispute the fact that it is generic though, which it is. Honestly, I can let that problem slide, since the great comedy in this movie made up for it for sure. And for that, I'm of course going to give this movie the rating two thumbs up. And my response to Clay Claymore is coming, I swear. Hopefully it will be uploaded before fucking October starts. Let's all fucking hope that, but I don't make any promises. Thank you all for watching and you all have a fantastic day.